Hey guys, Mike here. Tonight's video is one I promised you guys, which is how to clean out a cartridge based video game system. So I'm going to refer to it as a video game system in this video, but uh, know, know that when I say video game system, I mean cartridge based video game system. Alright, so let me get behind the camera and let's get started. So we got our cartridge based video game system. So a couple of things you're going to need before cleaning this baby out is a toothbrush, paper towel, erasers, and Windex, which I don't currently have, but you're going to need any gla any of that blue glass cleaning solution. Uh, I'll, sh I'll tell you guys why in a couple of minutes. Alright, so first you're going to want to unscrew and uh, you're going to want to unscrew um, the, s the uh, screws or bits or whatever that are found in your system usually at the bottom with the tool that you need I need a Phillips screwdrivers with screwdriver with the Sega Genesis you're gonna need a Nintendo security tool with the any Nintendo uh, system so we're gonna open this baby up and as you can see we got the plastic shell so this is the first thing you're gonna wanna clean gonna wanna clean the plastic shell you can clean this off very easily with uh, some dish soap, you know, just wash it like you're washing some dirty plates. You're gonna want to take off this, uh, this, the other half of the plastic shelling, and wash this off too, just like a dirty plate. So you're gonna want to also wash off the metal plates that uh, that cover the the uh, the core of the system, the, ch the system chip. So you're gonna want to clean up, clean these two off first. Make sure they are a hundred percent dry before you before you put the the system back together because you risk shorting out the system. So basically, to get the other half of the uh, plastic shelling out, you're just gonna want to unscrew any screws you see here. You know, in the Sega Genesis, it's just these two screws around the cartridge input. So I have to wrap this up in under ten minutes. So uh, let's let's get this on the let's get the show on the road. So basically, this is the uh, inside of a game system. This is what you're gonna this is what you're gonna focus on cleaning. Usually, um, dirt and dust build up builds up in two main places. You have the cartridge input, which it builds up in the cartridge input and around it. Then you have the two controller inputs. Which uh, which dust builds up inside of it. Usually on the the green chip, um, it's usually pretty clean. But you know, just just give it a little nice brushing with your toothbrush, and vacuum. Oh, and this is one thing that I forgot to tell you guys about. You're gonna need a vacuum. So you're gonna take the nozzle of the vacuum after you brush off um, your after you brush off the system very gently, and you're gonna wanna just suck off all the dust that uh, you brushed off. Make sure that the nozzle does not touch the system because if it does you run the risk of, uh, of, a, static, of a static shock between the, um, between the nozzle and the uh, system and the static shock will actually kill the system and it won't turn on and you know that sucks balls so who wants that. So you're gonna wanna the main, let's get to the main part, the dirty work. You're gonna wanna Take your toothbrush and you're going to want to scrub it around the, uh, well, wherever there's a concentration of dirt. And usually that's around the uh, cartridge connector. So you want to scrub there. Scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. So the general rule is when you see dirt, scrub it off with your, uh, scrub it off with your toothbrush. Make sure not to use any liquids. Do not use any liquids because if you do, you run the risk of damaging your system. I use liquids to clean this off and now the sound doesn't work right. So do not use liquids when you clean a system. Only use a toothbrush, paper towel, and a vacuum. So you're going to scrub, 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 vacuum, scrub, 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 vacuum and you're going to want to repeat the steps until you see no more dirt around around the uh, around the cartridge input or any area where dirt is building up. So then for the Sega Genesis, you're going to want to take your Windex, put in a little like uh, put in a little cup 
and dip the toothbrush in. And then you're going to want to just basically scrub in the cartridge input. Just keep scrubbing. And then um, basically you're going to want to wipe off any uh, dirty Windex and you're going to want to dip and repeat the step with the uh, the step with scrubbing out the cartridge input with the Windex uh, until until you feel that it will be clean. So you're going to also want to scrub out the let me get in better lighting. You're going to want to scrub out the controller inputs with the Windex and toothbrush. Make sure you're using clean Windex. Um, then for any connectors, any exposed connectors such as this. Um, this is the way you. This is actually how you clean off the Nintendo 72 pin adapter or connector. You basically take a clean pencil uh, eraser, clean pencil eraser, and you just start rubbing it against the uh, the connector. I can't I can't show you that because I have no clean uh, eraser heads. But I'll just show you. I'll just uh, I'll just give you a little. You know, I'll fake it. So you're scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. You're gonna want to wipe off any dust, any uh, any dust from the eraser. And you're gonna want to scrub. You're gonna want to flip it over and scrub the other side of the connector. And that's how you clean the exposed connectors and the uh, NES's 72 pin connector. Um, so any cartridge based input that that looks like the Sega Genesis is. You could clean out with a Windex and toothbrush by scrubbing. Any uh, any exposed uh, cartridge inputs, you're gonna want to use the or the NES's uh, 72 pin adapter. You're gonna want to use the um, you're gonna want to use the eraser head of a pencil. And just in general, you're gonna want to uh, brush over the chip with uh, your with your toothbrush just to get off any dust. So you're going to want to put your system back together. We screw everything up. And bam, you have a nice clean system that will run for a long, long time. So uh, I hope you found this useful. And this is Mike signing out. Keep playing your video games, kids. And rotting your minds with all this stuff that you really don't need to know. Alright. Have a good one, guys. Bye.